But look, I think it's your lucky day. I, I don't see the guy that owns that Corvette anywhere. <laughs> but now look, I know you want to do the right thing, don't you? <laughs> Besides, some people over there saw you. I'll tell you what. They won't know what you're writing. It's a pad and pencil. They'll write their guy a note. We'll just leave it on his windshield, okay? They'll see you writing. Yeah. This fellow right here, do you mind me asking you what you wrote on your note, sir? I'm sorry. <laughs> How about you, ma'am? What'd you write on your note? I'm so terribly sorry. <laughs> I'm sure he is, too. <laughs> What'd you write on your note, sir? Wasn't me. <laughs> All right, put the note on the windshield. All right, then everybody stand up. Stand up. We're at the beach. Stand up there. Spread your spread your blanket out on the sand down there, and then get down on the blanket. We're gonna get a great tan, get some sunshine today. Yeah. Hey, you better put some lotion on. You don't want to get burned, okay? Everybody sunshines. Matter of fact, be a good neighbor and help each other out of those hard to reach places, okay? Get each other's bags. Yeah. Now just lie back down there. You know, I told you this beach was awfully crowded, but you know, I don't think I have ever seen a time when there were so many gorgeous, good-looking, hard bodies walking up and down the beaches of our here today. Here comes some now. <laughs> Give them a big smile. Give them a big smile. They're looking your way now. Hey, give them the sexiest pose. That is so wimpy. I said, give me the sexiest pose if you're going to get the attention. <laughs> oh, some big bully just came by and kicked Sandy all over you. Give him a sign. Let him know you don't appreciate it. I'll tell you. <laughs> now you've got sand in your bathing trunk. Stand up and dig the sand out of your shorts. No disrobing. Just dig the sand out before it makes you raw. You know, there's a bodybuilding contest down the beach. You've been working out and you are buff. You just joined that competition. Go through your routine so everybody will notice you. Go through the whole, all your poses and everything. You're most muscular. How about that six pack? Show your best side. <laughs> oh, you've been out in the sun too long. You are blistered. Oh, look at the sunburn. Oh, does that hurt? Your nose, your face, your shoulders, your arms, your back. Oh, look, we got to get out of the sun. Come on back and find a chair to sit in someplace. And, and it doesn't matter where you sit, but just sit down. Get out of that sun for a while, okay? Man, that's horrendous. That's horrendous. <laughs> over here, over here. There you go. Back up there. Sleep. Deeper. Listen, from this point forward, anytime I whistle, each and every one of you will sink into a deep hypnotic sleep. Now, after this, from this point on, when I whistle, you're going to sink to the floor in a deep hypnotic sleep. You will never drop to the floor. You will never fall to the floor. You will never bang your head on the, on the floor or each other. But be very cautious so no one gets hurt. But for now, listen, since we're already out of the lake, I'm going to take you fishing with me. You are going to catch the biggest fish you ever caught in your entire life, trust me. But the big fish are located on the other side of the lake, so you're going to have to roll over there, okay? So sit up straight, grab the oars to your boat, and start rowing. Sing with me. Roll, roll, roll your boat.
Washington, lay down the street louder. A merry, 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 You're going to be asleep by the time you guys get over there. Put some muscle behind it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Faster, let's go. Come on. Roll, roll, roll. You're both sitting down the street. Hey, this looks like a good place. Toss your anchor overboard. Wait, now look. They gotta bait you on the book. So reach down to that bucket of worms now and get you one of those big, long night crawlers, okay? And then take your book in the other hand and stick him through three or four times so he can't flop off, okay? Oh, you've got green guts and slime all over your hands. Wipe it off. Yeah, don't wipe it on you. Wipe it on someone else. You know? All right, toss your line overboard now. All right, now look, shh, got to be very quiet. There are some monstrosities in this lake, I'll tell you, there's some big ones. Now you got to watch your bobber. Now they're fighters, so you're going to have to hang on to that pole for dear life and work him, okay? Because you're not just going to bring him in, you're, you've got to fight on your hands with these fish. So watch your bobber now, okay? When that bobber goes down, oh, you're getting a nibble already. Getting a nibble, not yet. Wait till you take a set. Wait. Oh, you got him, you got him, get him in! Oh, man, look at him go! He's zigzagging all over the place. He's at the left side of the boat now. And now he's at the right side of the boat. He just went behind the boat. And now he went under the boat. Pull him back alongside the boat, jerk him in the boat, step on him, hold him down so we can flop out. Woo! Look at the size of that fish, would you? Hold up your hand and show everybody how big your fish is. Man, why? He is a huge one. Well, look, you got to clean your own fish. So take your knife out. Cut his head off. Slit his belly open. And then reach in there with both hands and recut his guts. Oh, that, oh. Oh, man. All right, now laying down, you got to scrape off his scales. So take your knife and start scraping the scales, okay? Oh, look at you! You've got you've got fish scales all over your chest, all over your neck, in your hair, on your arms, on your legs. Oh, you are covered in slimy, slimy fish scales. Look, you've either, you've either got to clean him or throw him back in. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Oh no. Some people are not going to have a fish fry tonight, I guess. Man, it looks like it's getting cloudy out there. Look, look at those dark black storm clouds coming in. Uh-oh, you don't want to be on the... Uh -oh. oh, man, we don't want to be on this lake in the thunder. Come on, it's a downpour. Let's go, 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 go. we got to get back. Hurry, 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 hurry. You're not going anywhere to hog your anchor up. Get your anchor up first. <laughs> Come on. Man. Roll, roll, roll. You're both gently down the stream. I'm here to go faster, faster. Wings are 10 feet high, winds are 30 miles an hour. Keep pulling you back out to the sea. It's getting thundering and lightning. Oh, oh, that was a close one. Man, come on. A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh. Thank goodness you made it back to the dock on time. Tie your boat up at the dock. Tie your boat up. Oh, get some shelter there. And then. then Rain your clothes out, and I'll dry your hair. Man, that storm came up from nowhere. But you know, I think it's going to blow over. Looks like it's starting to blow over already. That was one of those just little squalls, you know. It's starting to blow over. I think I see the sun peeking out in the west there, coming up now. Oh, it's starting to go away. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I think it's going to turn out to be a pretty nice day after all. I had me worried there for a minute. It's a beautiful day. Sun's shining now. Leaves are on the trees. Flowers beginning to bloom. 
The smell of spring is in the air. You know, nothing is nicer on a beautiful spring day to be able to just kick your shoes off and walk barefoot through that thick, rich green grass. Yeah, let those puppies have some air. Wiggle those toes around, man. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Look at all those beautiful wildflowers. Why don't you go gather up a bouquet of those wildflowers, take them home to your favorite person, and uh, oh, they smell so pretty too, don't they? Smell them. <laughs> they got the pink ones and the purple ones. They get you a big bouquet of them. Oh, 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 you got to a bee's nest! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you got stuff right on the end of the nose. Oh, man, look, the stinger is still in your nose. Oh, that's got to hurt. Don't pick at it, you'll make it wrong. Oh, man. Look, your nose is already getting all swelled up and puffy and red. I hope you don't have anywhere to go this week because... I hate to say it, but you're starting to look a little like Bozo the Clown. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. You know, I was watching an episode of Survivor, and they said, if you ever have a bee sting, one of the best things that you can do is to make a mud pack and put it right on that bee sting. Okay? Look, there's some mud over there. Go get you some of that mud. You gotta make it thick. You can't smear it on. It's gotta cover the stinger. Go over there. There's a there's a much more mud way over there, okay? Um, but you gotta it's gotta cover the stinger. Alright? Better? If not, put more mud. The more mud you put on, the better it's gonna feel. Trust me. I, I really know my business, okay, when it comes to bee stings and things like that. <laughs> What is that god awful smell? <coughs> oh no. That wasn't mud. <laughs> There's been some cows in this meadow. And you've got cow evidence all over your nose and it's squishing up between your toes. Oh my goodness. Oh. I think, I think there's probably been some geese in there, too, because that other stuff looks kind of awkward. Hey, look, there's a creek over there. Go sit on the creek bank, dangle your feet in the creek, scoop up some water, wash your face. Oh, man. Back over, back over there. There you go. Scoop up, make sure you wash your toes and get wash your hands and smell your hands. Make sure they smell fresh and clean, okay? Boy, what a day 